TB Kennel family, what y'all got going on today, man? Rise grind. Everybody get up and get that money, man. Let's get the bag. You know what I'm saying? Listen, check this out, y'all. Um, right now, I'm currently, um, I'm all over the place. I'm gonna start by saying that, y'all. I'm literally all over the place. Like, I bought a whole nother Frenchie that y'all don't even know about that I thought I put the video up of. That I obviously didn't put the video up of. I don't know. I'm gonna put the video in here so don't be confused because the video is gonna be all over the fucking place. But it is gonna be all over the place because I got a lot of shit to tell you guys. I have a lot of shit to tell y'all. I got bad news. I'm not gonna lie, I got bad news. I have bad news. I have horrible news. So, you guys, long story short is this you guys know I had the birthday and juice pups. The whole litter died. The whole litter died. Um, the last five I had, they was doing good. They got real sick. I took them to the bed. They was trying to charge me 10 bands. And I would have paid the 10 bands, but I'm not finna pay 10 bands for my pups to still die. I'm not with it. Y'all can't ensure my pups gonna stay alive. So long story short, you guys, um, what happens is this. This is what happens. So long story short, Bertha caught an infection while she was pregnant. And I'm guessing she passed it down to the pups. And I'm pretty sure that's what happened because... Um, the first couple of days they was doing well, but then I started to realize they started to poop blood. And instantly that lets you know what I'm saying, that lets you guys know it's an infection. Cause I took them to the vet and the vet was like, Yeah, it's an infection. That I mean, for them to be this young, there's no way hell they just caught an infection that had to be passed down um from their mom. Um so now I got uh birth on antibiotics. No, I am not selling birth. I'm gonna keep birth, I'm gonna repeat that breeding because that was a dope ass breeding. I might just take her to, to motherfucking YB. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys know Bertha is a uh, direct Bitcoin daughter. And you guys know YB is a big twig son, which is he's a direct uh, Bitcoin son. So that means uh, YB is a Bitcoin grandson. So that's definitely going to click. But I, I, if YB's not ready by then, when she can make a heat, I might as well run it back to Juice. Because that letter was, it was, it was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Um, but... Other than that, man, like, that is bad news, you know what I'm saying? I hated it because, you know, like, that was a fire-ass letter, 10 pups, but, you know, things happen. You guys know I took a major loss, you know, the whole birth of litter died. Um, Sophie, puppies, they, she ejected her litter and that died, so right now, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to stay positive. I'm not going to let that, you know, make me or break me, you know what I'm saying? That's part of the bullying game. One thing about the bullying game, man, you're going to take, you're going to have ups and downs. You got to be able to take a loss just like you can take a win. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit is going to happen to the game. And I take it up the chin like a grown man. And I'm still willing to give back and help. You know what I'm saying? Because so, um, don't forget, you guys, like I told you guys, do not forget. Don't forget, you guys. I have, um, I'm doing a stud credit um, deal on Draco and Juice. Um, people in a lot of them in. I, I, I did throw, open up three more. So now I currently only have two more left for Juice and two more left for Draco. When I say incredible stud prices, bro, like, it's crazy, man. I'm, I'm practically giving it away, and I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you promote your litter. I'm going to help guide you. I'm going to help show you, you know what I'm saying, the best way to get rid of your pups. I'm going to guide y'all the whole nine yards, man. Just tap in. Um, I'm going to pick up my um, female, my Frenchie. Me and two times truck. Uh, we own her. Well, we co on her. Um, she got bred to a great son. You guys going to see all that. I'm going to put that next. Um, or should I put that before? Who, who knows? I'm going to put it in the video, y'all. Um, but listen, I just want to come to y'all and tell you this. Listen, always stand strong. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up, man. Like, even when shit is not going in your favor, shit looking bad, shit looking like, you know, things is going for the worst, never give up. Always keep up because you know you got the last seat. You know what I'm saying? I got You feel me? So I always make sure y'all um, have faith. Because if you believe a hard love, man, it thing can happen. Trust me. I'm a firm believer in that. Uh, but I'll catch on a little bit. Um, maybe when we get back to the house. Because I already got footage of the female. Um, you guys know the stubby brother with. Yeah, so she's a black. I'm going to post that video. So I didn't even got to see all that. But we did bring her to a Grinch blood male. Grinch on both sides, top and bottom. Um, that boy, that boy amazing. He's dope. Catch y'all in the living, man. Y'all stay safe. All right, you guys, listen. So I just picked up our female. As you guys can see, she is a black brindle. Um, she looks good, man. She's short, compact, small. She might be pregnant. We did do two TCIs on her. She was bred to the Grinch, a Grinch blood stud, Merle. The only color that can um, 
that can block out that Brendel is Merle. That's how we went with a Merle. So we might get a, a full litter of Merles, man. I'm excited to see. I'm gonna go ahead and take her on home. She's been washed up, everything. She's good. So now we just waiting to see if she took. Um, but I forgot her name. She looks good though. She looks amazing. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. She looks amazing. I'm trying to get deep in this Frenchie game, you guys. So um, I catch y'all when we get home and um, get everything situated in a little bit, y'all. We gone. All right, so as y'all can see, my new Frenchie, they just sizing the hell out of her. Like, they all sizing the hell out of her. That little boy, they sizing the hell out of her, though. No count. Look, she's just running from me. <laughs> they sizing her. I'm about to hurry up and put her in because, you know, she might be pregnant, possibly. So, if she pregnant, I don't want her out here with the other dogs. Um, But, you guys... There she go. I know I haven't showed it to you, but I been bought her a while ago. Um, she right there. But I just wanted to show you guys. But I'll definitely drink on the window. But I'll definitely be um tapping back in with y'all and showing y'all more of her later, y'all. Um, but that's the end of this video. Um, I got a few spots left. I got what one more spot left. Wait, I got two more left on Juice. One more left on Draco. On the stud if you did, man. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. Uh, Let's get this bag, y'all. Let's go. All right, so listen, CB Kendall family. Um, I just had to come here and tell you guys, just do a little talking with you guys. So, yes, it is true. My whole birth of litter died. Yes, it is true, you guys. Um, but we're not going to let that stop us. We're not going to let that hurt us because we're going to keep going up. You guys, um, I had two pups locked in from the litter, but it's okay because those customers wanted to transfer those um lock-ins to other litters so you guys just a quick update i confirm um i confirm bella you guys know bella went to pretty boy i confirm her um in a week and a half um hoping I'm, I'm, I, it's looking good but you guys know i don't really know um next billy jean i'm not gonna lie i got good signs of billy jean that she took because billy jean had the mucus coming out you guys know how i feel about the mucus also um bella had mucus coming out too um royalty mm, still kind of iffy about her nipples look good i'm not gonna lie nipples look amazing but i don't really know just yet and i don't want to call it just yet um you guys know i just got the frenchie which i just showed you guys um earlier in the video um, I bred her too. I did two two TCIs. Um, her numbers was kind of high. I did her first TCI at 30, but we're not worried about it because that's still, um, we can still make it work. So that lets you know I got four females, Bella, Billie Jean, Royalty, and my Frenchie. Um, Royalty produce small litters. When I say small litters, I'm talking about no more than three pups. Um, I did a few things to her, gave her a few shots to help maybe produce more pups. We'll see how that goes, um, but I'm hoping for the best. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I got You got to stay positive. That's one thing about being a breeder. Things happen. You can't give up. You got to stay positive. As a breeder, you got to be able to bounce back. You got to be able to not give up. You got to be able to still continue to believe, grind, and fight even when you take a loss. That's just how the breeding world goes. Nothing's going to always go as planned. Remember that, you guys. You just got to keep staying focused and keep grinding and keep working. Um, things are going to break loose. Um, but I just had to come on and tell you guys that. I'll catch you all in the next video. I love you guys.